This tutorial will introduce you to the basics of operating multidynamics. Multidynamics is a multiband dynamics processor with many capabilities, including equalization, compression, expansion, and gating. The frequency response display is where you configure the frequency bands and the dynamics processing per band. Bands can be created by clicking the Add button and deleted by clicking the Delete button. Up to six bands can be created. Click on a band to select it. You can change the band frequency by dragging the band edge. Let's start a simple drum loop playing. In the top display, the bright green trace shows the dynamic equalization. The green shaded area shows the range of possible equalizations based on the current parameters. In the bottom display, the input level in each band is shown in yellow with the threshold shown as red lines. This green triangle sets the gain when the signal is below threshold, called the low gain parameter. This blue triangle sets the gain when the signal is above threshold, it's called the high gain parameter. This is shown in the dynamics response to the right. Here the input level is plotted on the horizontal axis. Input levels below threshold cause the low gain to be applied. Input levels above threshold cause the high gain to be applied. The transition between low gain and high gain controlled by the ratio parameter. Currently this band is compressing because the gain is getting reduced when the signal goes above threshold. However, we can swap the high gain and low gain parameters and cause the band to become an expansion band. The easy way to remember this is to look at the arrows. When the arrows are pointing away from one another, we are expanding. When the arrows are pointing towards one another, we are compressing. Using the all bands controls, you can adjust the parameters in all bands at the same time. This is particularly useful for adjusting the threshold levels to match input level. Each band can also be bypassed, soloed, or muted. Bypassing a band bypasses the dynamics processing in that band. Bands can also be soloed or muted. Now we'll show how to use multidynamics to do some fine tuning to this drum sound. For example, let's say we wanted to extend the sound of the snare ringing. We'll start with the three band default. Now we'll solo the middle band and adjust the band edges to find the sound of the snare ringing. Set it around 2 kilohertz. Now we'll unsolo the band. What we want to do is to bring up the low level ringing sound. So we do this by increasing the low gain. We also have to lower the threshold below the peak level. And we have to increase the ratio to get some compression. We use a ratio of about 3. Now that we're compressing the band, we can adjust the attack and release times to suit. We use about one millisecond attack, maybe around 150 to 200 milliseconds release time. Okay, now let's compare the compressed sound with the uncompressed sound by bypassing the band. So this is essentially the original sound. and this is with the snare ringing compressed. So multidynamics is able to bring out the ringing sound. Finally, we can compare what sound can be achieved by straight equalization. We can force multidynamics to work like an equalizer by setting the high gain equal to the low gain. So this is straight EQ. It's not the effect we want. I can hit undo go back to the compression. We could just as easily have damped the snare ringing by applying a downward expansion to that band. Multidynamics can manipulate sounds in ways that neither an EQ nor a broadband dynamics processor is capable of.